everyone. Welcome to Logic Quest Academy. Here we will be working on functions, questions, and we will see how to solve them. So let's start with the first question. You have been given f of x plus y is f of x plus f of y. And then you have been given f of 3 is equal to 29. We need to find out value of f of 27. So suppose if I put x equal to 1 and y equal to 1, then f of 1 plus 1 becomes f of 1 plus f of 1. So 2 into f of 1 in becomes, right? Now if you see what we have been given, f of 3, right? And f of 3 can be written as what? Or f of 2 plus 1, it can be written also. So suppose I write it by f of 2 plus 1, right? So it, what it becomes, f of 2 plus f of 1, and f of 2 is 2 into f of 1 plus f of 1. So what I am trying to tell you here is whatever term is there into something, we are getting it like this, right? So here we had f of 2 and f of 2 could have been written as uh, f of 2 into 1 and 2 gets outside the function and we get f of 1 here. Just check it here. It gets 2 into f of 1. The case is if f3 for the cases of f3, so 3 into 1 we can write, so it is getting, 3 is getting outside and f of 1 is inside, right? Suppose f of 27 is there. Suppose f of 6 I want to find out, right? So f of 6 can be written as f of 3 plus f of 3. So it will be f of 3 plus f of 3, right? And 2 into f of 3 it will be, right? So I can see the f of 6 is f of 3, f of 9 if I want to find out. So it will be what f of 6 plus f of 3. It will be how much f of 6 plus f of 3. So it can see the f of 6 is 2 f of 3. So it will be 2 f of 3 plus f of 3, right? So what we are trying to understand here is it will become 3 into f of 3. So f of 6 was 3 into 2, and what we got? 2 into f of 3, right? 2 came outside and 3 is inside. f of 9 is 3 into 3. It became 3 into f of 3, right? So there is a pattern out there, right? One of the numbers gets outside and the other number can be found out by find, finding its value, right? So just have a look here. For the case of f of 27, can I say this could be f of 9 into 3? And the moment I say it is f of 9 into 3, the pattern says that it could be 9 into f of 3. So 9 into f of 3 will become what? 9 into f of 3, we already know. It is given in the question as 29. So we get 29 here, right? So 29 into 9 is 261. So we get answer as 261. We just need to understand the pattern first. F of 6, F of 9, we understand the pattern, then it is very simple that 9 into F of 3 will be F of 27. Right? Fine. Can we move forward now? Right. See this question. So let's see how to solve this one. You have been given F of X plus Y is equal to F of X into F of Y. So when we multiply these two terms, we get F of X plus Y. If you just think a bit here now, you will get a feeling that this happens in some specific case. It happens when we have a number, constant number A, and we have a power X on it. So if F of X is like this now, so this will be, in these cases only, you will get such a case. F of Y will be A to the power Y. And if we will multiply these two, suppose if we multiply these two, we will get A to the power X, into a to the power y, which becomes a to the power x plus y because the base is same, so power gets added, which is in a way equal to f of x plus y because f of x plus y will be what? Just putting x plus y in, term, in place of x, so it is f of x plus y. So what we are getting, we have to assume first key f of x is nothing but what? a to the power x. So if I want to find out f 4 by putting x as 4, then I will have a to the power 4, right? But it has been given that it is 4096. And I know that 4096 is 2 to the power 12. 
which is 2 to the power q and then 4. So ultimately, if we compare these two values, my a becomes 2 to the power q, which is 8. Right? Now, I have been given to find f to the power 10. I have already found ki a is nothing but 8. So 8 to the power x is my function and x is given as 10. So 8 to the power 10 will be my answer here. And that will be the answer out here, right? Hope you got this question. Always remember that if you have been given a condition like this, f of x will be of the form of 8 to the power x. Just note this down. Now, this is a very important and very good question that we have been given f of x is a third degree polynomial. A third degree polynomial could be ax cube, bx square, cx plus d form, right? Now, but this relation is given and we need to first understand why this relation is given, how we can find out. So if I write here f of x plus f of 1 by x equal to f of x into f of 1 by x, let me first try to solve this, right? This relation is given, so need to be first solve this. So I just take everything to the right hand side. Okay, I take everything to RHS, these two terms to RHS, right? So it becomes f of x into f of 1 by x minus f of x minus f of 1 by x and this becomes equal to 0. Now if I add 1 to both sides, add 1 to RHS as well as LHS, what it becomes? Let us see. So it becomes f of x into f of 1 by x minus f of x minus f of 1 by x equal plus 1 equal to 1, right? Now I need to solve this to understand. If I take f of x as common here, then it comes back at me f of 1 by x minus 1 because f of x is in minus here. If I tell if I take minus 1 as common, then I get f of 1 by x minus 1 again and it is equal to 1. So what I'm getting here is f of x minus 1 in one bracket and f of 1 minus x 1 by x minus 1 in another bracket and multiplication of these two is 1. Just understand that if you subtracting f of x, 1 from f of x and 1 from f of 1 by x, Nothing changes, but the constant term will change. Whatever be the form in terms of x cube, x square, x will remain same. Because if I am just subtracting one, then it will be subtracted from the constant term, right? But it say that key these functions f of x minus one and one f of one by x minus one, the multiplication is one, and this is possible only if my these functions are in the form of my this function is in the form of plus minus x n. And my this function is in the form of plus minus 1 by xn. No other cases will ensure me this they will be 1 because 1 should be in terms of x ka power something and others should be in terms of 1 by x ka power something. Then only I will get a value as 1, right? So, but it is already given that the function is a third degree polynomial. So here from this inference, I can take it f of x minus 1 is nothing but plus minus x cube. And my f of x becomes just a second. My f of x becomes here plus minus x star q plus one, right? So I need to now find out what we actually is my value of f of x. But one condition is already given that f of three is twenty eight. Now I know okay, if I put 3 here, f of 3 will be 28 only in the cases of x cube plus 1 because 3 ka q plus 1 is 28, right? So my f of x should be x cube plus 1 because the other case doesn't exist because our condition says so. And I need to find out what? I need to find out f of 5. So I just put 5 here and it will be 5 ka q plus 1, which is 126. And your answer will be 126. Now oh, let us see the next question. Let me set this one a bit here. Okay. So see, I have been given two log ka values. Log of 16, 5 is given as x. Log of 5, 3 is given as y. And I need to find out log 3, 6. Okay. Log 3, 6 can be written as log 3, 3 into 2. 
which is in the form of mn and log m into n is nothing but log m plus log n. So this multiplication terms get converted to the two different separate additional terms. And this value, if I just see, is nothing but 1. So this becomes 1 plus log 3, 2. And I need to find out this log 3, 2 to find out the value of log 3, 6, right? So if I just see, there is log 16, 5, and there is log 5, 3. If I multiply both of them, if I multiply x, y, what I get log 5 divided by log 16 into log 3 divided by log of 5, right? So log 5, log 5 gets cancelled and I get log 3 by log 16, which gives me nothing but log of 16, 3, right? Now I need to solve this because 16 is in the base and I know that 16 is nothing but 2 ka power 4. So I will just solve this. Log 3, 6, it can be written as log 2 ka power 4 and then 3. And this 4 comes out outside and it will become 1 by 4 by the formula. So it becomes log 2, 3. So my xy, which I have calculated, is 1 by 4 log 2, 3. So my 4xy will be nothing but log of 2, 3. But I need to find out log 3, 2, which is necessarily reciprocal of log 2, 3. So I will try to find out log 3, 2. Log 3, 2 is nothing but reciprocal of log 2, 3. 1 by log 2, 3 is log 3, 2. So 1 by 4 x, y will be my log 2, 3. And if I put my log 3, 2 ka value here, which I have already found out, so I can see that 1 plus 1 by 4 x, y will be my complete value of the given term, which is 4 x, y plus 1 divided by 4 x, y. Hope you get that this answer is right, right? So that will be your answer. Now, this is my last question for the day. I have been given a square minus b square equal to 1, c square minus d square equal to 1, right? And I have been also given that vd is equal to 1. I need to find out what? I need to find out 4a square plus 9c square. This is what I need to find out. So my a square is 1 plus b square from this. And my c square is 1 plus d square from this, right? Second term. But I need to find out 4a square plus 9c square. So let's simplify this. 4 of 1 plus b square is plus 9 of 1 plus d square is what I need to find out. This becomes 4b square plus 9d square plus 4 plus 9, which is nothing but 4b square plus 9d square plus 13. And I need to necessarily find minimum value of this term for whole 4a square 9c square to be minimum. So this has to be minimum to make these term minimum, right? So here we will use which concept? We will use am is greater than or equal to gm. We have two terms, 4b square and 9b square, 9d square, 9d square. And the aim of these two terms will be 4b square plus 9d square divided by 2. And gm of these two terms will be 4b square into 9d square ka root over, right? If I solve these, so what I will get? 4b square plus 9d square divided by 2. And if I solve this in the bracket one, so 4 9s are 36, which gives me 6. And b square d square is bd. And I know that bd is given as 1 to me. So it will be greater than or equal to 6. And 4b square plus 9d square becomes greater than or equal to 6 into 2 or greater than or equal to 12. So minimum value of 4b square plus 9d square is nothing but 12, right? And I need to find out minimum value of 4a square plus 9c square, which depend upon minimum value of 4b square plus 9d square. So the minimum value is 12 for this term. And 13 is already there. So I get answer is 25 and this will be my answer. So please watch this video completely. Hope you like this video. I will be putting more content. Please like and subscribe my channel.